my God, the new YouTube terms of service. How is that going to impact you and your channel? That's probably why you're on this particular video because you've heard about the new YouTube terms of service and you're looking for more information about it. So welcome to this actual channel, you guys. I focus on doing videos here to help entrepreneurs get massive traffic, generate quality leads and sales leveraging video marketing. So if that interests you, be sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell notification so when I upload a new video, you are part of the notification squad. Now let's talk about it today, you guys. The new YouTube Terms of Service, how is it going to impact you? Will it actually impact you at all? That's some things that we wanna talk about here on One today. of the major things that has happened on the actual platform is the impact of kids channels. So I know when I logged into my YouTube account, the first thing I saw was you know this big blue bar that was asking me about my content and is my content catered to children? Well, if you guys don't know, YouTube actually was fined, I believe back in September, for millions of dollars because they actually were collecting the information of minors, which is actually illegal. So because of that, now creators who actually um, focus on children and cater their content towards children now have to like tell them. They need to know that that's what you actually do. So you'll see now that you need to go into your settings and let them know um, you know, channel wide, if your channel is about, you know, focusing on children or is it not, right? Or you can do it video by video. So that is an option that they actually give you. So on my channel, I actually went in and said like none of my, none of my content is actually catered towards children. All of my content is really, is really catered towards entrepreneurs. Now, my son does have a channel and so I'm going to have to think about and look at how we're going to deal with that because his channel is all about gaming and Roblox and stuff like that and yeah he's really more so doing content that's catered towards children. Now if your channel is not catered towards children you probably have nothing to worry about. I'm my heart and you know goes out to those channels where it's like family channels and they do everything you know and it's catered towards kids and um, I know there's one dad and you know, him and his daughters they have a youtube channel and yes the content is, is catered towards children so i'm not quite sure what's going to happen you know for those type of channels but the majority of us who don't really have you know kids centered channels or whatever really don't have anything to worry about as it relates to the actual copa i think it's called copa children online privacy protection act we really don't have much to worry about um, as it relates to that Another thing that got many people up in arms was this statement that YouTube made about removing channels that were, were not commercially viable. I'll show you guys that right now. So what happened was people thought or creators thought that because their channels aren't monetized that YouTube was going to remove their channel because they weren't commercially viable because they weren't producing an income and based upon what YouTube says is that that's not what they meant. They meant that you know there's some parts of the system that aren't really producing anything and so they're going to be removing those features and so it really kind of helped us to you know kind of be like okay I know channels at least one of my I have one channel the larger channel that is is that is monetized um, but I have channels that are not monetized and so yeah you could kind of read it it could be a little bit ambiguous and you can kind of be like okay so am I gonna be gone or am I staying am I going what's going on right but um, have no fear you guys it, that's not what they mean so it, it, and I'll show you guys as well that's not what they mean they mean that your there's some there's some things they're gonna be removing okay so period space space go from here okay and I really want to encourage you all to just look at your content what are you actually creating and really just make sure that you're bringing value to this platform this is a platform for content creators right and so if you look at your content is it hate speech that you're doing and most people watching me probably aren't doing hate speech right but is it vulgar, you know? Um, is it adding value to the lives of people? Or are you really, you know, on that line where it's kind of like, uh, 
if I were a business owner, you know, would I really want your content on my platform? We all have to remember that th we don't own YouTube, okay? So you don't own YouTube. YouTube is a business and they, um, they sell advertising. So there is a business model that is here. And so we're basically leasing a space on somebody else's platform in somebody else's house. So when you think about that, you wanna think about, okay, is this content really offensive? Is this some is this good content, right? That people can, you know, learn from, glean from, be entertained, whatever your channel is all about. Really want to ask yourself when you produce your content, is this the best piece of content that I could put on this actual platform? So now I want to hear from you guys, right? So let me know what did you think about the terms of service, if you even knew about the terms of service, right? What did you think about it, right? Were you concerned? What were your concerns when you saw the new terms of service um, on YouTube? I love to hear from you about that. Until next time, guys, I want you to be seen. I definitely want you guys to be heard. But most importantly, I want you guys to go and get paid on purpose. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.